my name is Jennifer. Um, before October 11th, 2017, I had a lot of things going on in my life that were, um, you know, not good choices. I was in a really, really bad spot and I was using drugs and alcohol on a daily basis. Um, I knew that at that point, as I was using every day, I knew that it was going to take something really drastic for me to be able to stop. I didn't know what it was going to be. Um, so at first I lost my job and then I lost housing. And at that time I had a five-year-old son and an infant son. And I knew he had to be to school every day. So I sent him with family to live in Illinois. And I still had my infant son with me. So it wasn't long before I knew that DHS was looking for me and like the whole, my whole world was coming down fast. Um, one night in September, late September, I got pulled over. My son was in the car and I got um, some possession charges. I went to jail and I woke up in the morning and DHS was there and let me know, you know, we're taking your kid, we've been looking for you. So at that point, I kind of had my awakening, my reality check that it's going to be now or it's going to be never. This is my out. They told me that within two weeks, I'd be placed at Heart of Iowa. So I get into Heart of Iowa on October 11th, 2017, which is my clean date. And at that point, um, within two weeks, I had both my boys back with me. Um, for the residential treatment of 90 days, I was in intense classes all day long. We had intense treatment group, we had parenting, um, we had money management, Horizons would come in, and I graduated. And then um, I stayed, I got accepted for the halfway program. And that really helped me because I was still able to live in this apartment, rent free, while I was able to try to get myself, you know, back in order. So now for this 90 days, here I was, you know, learning how to be a parent again and um, get myself together and then now I got to go out and I had a job within the first week because I went back to a previous job and <clears throat> I was able to start paying off some of my past debts which I had racked up a lot and save some money to move and um, get my license back get my car fixed all that very important stuff needed to happen for me to get stable so I was in halfway for nine or ten months there. They let me stay there, which I was so grateful for. Um, and now I am at transitional housing at Way Home. I'm a sponsor and I chair a meeting for my home group um, every Tuesday night. And um, I still work full time at my job at IHOP. I'm a server there and I'm a, I'm a real mother to my kids. And uh, None of this would be possible without everything that that I was given through, you know, United Way, Heart of Iowa, and all the services that were given to me. There's no way that I would be where I am today had I not had a lot of help to get me here, and I'm truly grateful.